Hello everyone, I'm Kundan, session lead of AI programming with Python. And today we are gonna talk about a topic that's in the nano degree itself, gradient descent. So before we go into the gradient descent, we need to know what an optimizer is since gradient descent is an optimizer. So an optimizer can be a function or basically an optimizer is an function that moves the model's weight to an optimal state. And by optimal state, I mean the state of weights where if we give those weights to a particular model and make predictions, the average error of those predictions will be minimum. So an optimizer basically optimizes our model to make accurate predictions. So now let's go to the gradient descent. So gradient descent is a core of many other optimizing algorithms, but today we are gonna talk about only the gradient descent. Base gradient descent itself is quite capable, but it can be modded and improved into other more advanced optimizers as well, like RMS prop and atom optimizer. That's basically the most widely used optimizer as of now. So let's look into how gradient descent works. So gradient descent requires three things to work. The first being the current weights of the models. The second being the learning rate that is basically that basically determines how long how big our steps would be when optimizing the weights and the third would be the gradients of the weights so the gradients of the weight is basically a derivative of the loss function with respect to our weights so it basically denotes how much the loss changes when we change our weights so if the gradient is positive then that means that if we increase our weights then the loss will increase. And if the gradient is negative, then that means that if we decrease our weight, then the loss will increase. So when we have all three things, how the gradient, how gradient descent updates the weight is just simply subtracting the product of our gradients and the learning rate from the current state of the weights. So how does that optimize the how does that optimize the weights of the models? So let's see that. So we can see that in this diagram, the yellow, the blue curve represents the our loss function, and it's a convex loss function. And why it's shaped like this, we would leave that for the next session. But you just you should know that for optimal for optimal optimize. I mean, you basically like if you want to optimize a if you want to reach a local not local, the global minima and have the best performance of our model, we should model our loss in such a way that it has the shape. So basically it's a convex loss function so that it has only one minima. Practically it's kind of hard to do so, but that's the goal that we should be focusing on. So in this case, we can see that the, the right side of the loss function would have positive gradients since the dy by dx in this particular case would be positive. So to decrease the loss, we need to move our weights to the negative. I mean, we need to move our weights to left. So for that, we would need to subtract a particular particular amount from the, our current weights. So that's why the negative sign was there in the equation of the gradient descent. So if this particular gradient is positive, then that means that our weights would move to negative move to the left of the graph. And if that this particular gradient is negative, then that means that our weights move would move to the right side since negative ne and negative would make it a positive sign. So in this case, if the gradient is positive, then subtracting it from the current weights would move it to the left towards the optima. And if our weights are negative, I mean, if our gradients are negative, then adding that to the current weights would move it to the minima. That means towards the right side. So that's how gradient descent works. And that's all from my set for today. So thank you everyone.